Alright, I don't hate flying, I'm not afraid of heights, I'm not afraid of dying on a plane. But flying with my parents is just a phobia by itself. So today I thought, why not talk about another story of this moving experience? And I'm just going to talk about the beginning of it, which is waking up at 5.30am to go to an airport. First of all, Asian parents are not good at packing at all. And I know that's extremely racist to say to one group, but it's, it's true. They don't organize it well, they just stuff everything in and they think it'll fit, but it never fits. And if you don't know, you can't put a container with more than 3.4 ounces of liquid in a suitcase. Wow, that was big words. And I told my mom we'll pay an extra amount of money just to have that extra bag full of liquids. And if you don't know why I'm drinking this, it's because this is 12 ounces. And my mom thought she could pack an entire box of these in my suitcase. Now, I pack my suitcase, I don't know what my mom packs in after that, because I have space. My mom took up two and a half suitcases, while I took up one, and my sister took up one. But a whole half of my suitcase was filled with drinks. And I get that my mom can't speak English very well, and I know that it's hard to remember this stuff. But if you tell someone five times not to put liquids in a suitcase, you would think they wouldn't put liquids in a suitcase. And it just made me a little bit mad because we went through security and they saw the liquids. They're like, all right, we're gonna have to double check everything, which takes around 10 extra minutes. So my sister and I were a bit mad, but everyone makes mistakes, it's fine. By the way, if you can hear this, that's my floor. Now we get onto the flight and we have to take two flights to get to Philly. And if you don't know this, connecting a flight to DC is one of the hardest things to do because it's very jam-packed and you might miss your flight. But the first flight was fine, it was around 4 hours, all of us fell asleep. It was supposed to get there at 1.30 and it came at 1.45. But our second flight was scheduled to take off at 1.45 and it took off at 1.45. And if you don't know what's going on, when we got off of the plane, the first plane, the second plane flew off already. So now it's me and my sister and we're freaking out because we missed our second flight, which I never thought would happen in my life. And we're asking customer service, is there another flight that gets to Philly at this time? And they said at three o'clock, but apparently that flight is full too. But the good news is there's another flight going from Baltimore to Philly and Baltimore is an hour away from DC. But the problem is there is one seat available there. So my mom takes the seat and me and my sister are on standby now, which if you don't know what that means, it means you wait for people to be late so you can get on the flight, which means you're basing it off if people get there or not. And if only my mom gets there, there's another flight going at four, so it's not that bad. And I'll say that took around two hours to figure out, and then an hour to drive the shuttle to get to Baltimore. So we're almost there, and that's when I realized that I don't know where my suitcase is. <laughs> and I realized that the bag of liquids that we put in is on that flight that went off at 145. And I'm freaking out a little bit because my mom said all of our money is in there. And I asked her, why is the money in that bag? And she said, it's the only one with space left. But if she didn't pack so poorly, there would be more space. So that plane gets there at 11 o'clock and my dad is freaking out. So he decided to wait an hour and 30 minutes for that bag to go onto that little ring around the rosy thing and I guess good news is he got it. My mom and I take the next flight because another seat opened up, but my sister had to wait for the four o'clock flight because no one was late. And then I meet my dad finally at five o'clock when I was supposed to meet him at 11 o'clock. And I guess that's the end of the story. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or better yet subscribe. Um, I post videos, I guess every Sunday, I might miss a day again. And if you have an airplane story, please talk about it. It makes me feel better, it does. I love you guys, and everything is less than three. Oh, and when we got there and saw Philadelphia with all the big buildings, my mom thought that was New York City.